Well, aren't you going to answer your phone? No, I... I don't want to. My existence may not have been what it should be. But at least I have permanence. No, I cannot trust Dr. Hoffman. I cannot take a chance. I will do away with her. Now. Barnabas. That's quite satisfactory. Fine. I've prepared a list of things that I'll need. There's a chemical supply house in Bangor. They'll have all these things. Willie will have to go. Very complete. Willie, you have an errand to do. You can do that tomorrow morning. Sure. The room will have to be cleaned and scrubbed. Liz, don't you understand? If it's important enough for Burke to try to find out about it, don't you think I have a right to know? It has nothing to do with you. Well, you want me to lie for you, don't you? I asked you to tell Miss Winters a certain story. That's all I'm asking you to do. What if I refuse? You won't. Don't be too sure, Liz. You think you rule my life. Roger, you want to stay in this house. Either you do what I ask you to do, or you can pack your things and leave tomorrow. Is it that important? My reason for engaging Miss Winters is private. It will remain private. And I'll expect your cooperation in keeping it that way. I do earnestly hope, Jeremiah, that despite yourself, you will be able to regard Millicent with an open mind, if not today, perhaps tomorrow. A visit will be an extended one. You never give up, do you? <sighs> what Mrs. Johnson must have thought. Don't start thinking about her or anyone here. Why don't you go back to your own life, to Windcliff? Forget Barnabas Collins. Leave this. over this poor creature, needless of your mercy, but in dire need of your divine spirit. Depart from her, ye cursed demons, into the everlasting fire which burns all evil and leaves only the ashes of what good she once possessed. Devils, be humbled! Shrink in fear at the dark night you must shortly see. Depart from her, leaving nothing that is not as pure and innocent as a child newly born. Hear me and go hence from her. <laughs> it's impossible for me to leave Collinwood. Quentin would never let me take Tad. But I would be interested in anything else you might happen to find out. You may be sure, madam, that I will keep you fully informed. And you can help by keeping your eye on Quentin's activities. Yes, I intend to do so. Where was I? Who was I? What was happening to me? Why was Angelique my servant? I don't understand. But I don't really need to. Edward says it's all in my mind. Whims? 
songs of Robert Burns. Then it's not in my mind. It's not. It's happening. Something has really happened. 